What is other pricing method? Markup often referred as the cost plus pricing approach is used to determine food service price relative to ingredient cost. A price rise generally leads to a drop in the room demand and occupancy. In a normal economy, price cut are the greatest approach to raising demand even if they reduce net income. Markup pricing may be useful under low inflation if the economic activities doesn't collapse. Alfred Marshall, a British economist, developed this theories at the beginning of the 20th century and today they are considered to be the cornerstone of contemporary microeconomic theory. Whenever there is a reduction of 1% in the, in the price of the item, there is an equal and opposite increase in the amount that people are prepared to pay for it. The price elasticity of demand for the vast majority of consumer product and service falls somewhere between 0 0.5 and 1.0. It is a widely held belief that perhaps the price elasticity of the vast majority of items falls somewhere in the region of 1.0. Next is elasticity of demand for room pricing. Both inelastic demand and over inelastic demand describe the same phenomena which happens when demand elasticity is less than or greater than one. A multiple of one indicates that demand is elastic in this instance where the price are changed. The easiest way to see if demand become elastic or inelastic is by looking at the change in the total sales revenue. Sales revenue will grow as demand is elastic when price are reduced. Price changes will result in an equal but opposing shift in total revenue if demand is rigid. There is a direct correlation between supply and demand elasticity and the availability of substitute. As a result, every hospitality business needs to be aware of the market elasticity of demand and the loyalty of its customer. When it comes to pricing strategy, it must be tailored to the market. When making short-term decisions such as reducing weekend and off-season hotel prices or providing special food and beverage prices during slow times to help generate income, it is especially important to consider this factor. The impact of elasticity on demand. More efficient goods have a greater reaction to changes in price, whereas less efficient products have a smaller reaction. If there had been no cost connected with produce, producing a good or service, companies would simply increase the price of the product or service until demand diminished. Increasing expenses make dealing with them more challenging because Profit are determined by the sales minus expenses. This would have the effect of decreasing the bakery profitability. The price of bread was comparable to the price of the finished product. There would be very little room for profit. As a direct consequence of this, several companies provide items from which they get little to no profit. Product with high, with a high level of consume, consumer interest are the primary drivers of their income. The strength of elasticity in demand. Businesses operating in highly competitive industries seek to develop products and services which are adaptable. The power of demand elasticity comes from the fact that it reveals how much customer of a product or services consume whenever the price of that product or service changes. When the price of an elastic product falls on the market, the firms will become less interested in providing that particular commodity or service. The application of elasticity in demand of KFC. Additional variables that affected demand about the price were McDonald's and the amount and the cost of additional items. KFC had to raise its prices in China three times in 2011, each time by 0 0.5 yuan to 2 yuan. Because raw material costs have 
increase, KFC had to boost pricing. The price chart shows a substantial shift in prices, indicating that supply is increasing. An increase or decrease in the price of a product may have a significant impact on how many units are sold, purchasing closed replacement and allocating a portion of one's earning to their purchase are important consideration to make. Promotional lunches are often offered by the KFC in Malaysia on weekdays. But businesses and are uh, being obliged to charge customers a 6% government fee to make up for their losses. The payroll tax is split between the customer and the supplier when demand is elastic. In conclusion, it is essential to consider the elasticity of demand when attempting to estimate future demand. The elasticity of demand, which may be estimated, is the foundation of the process of demand forecasting. A comprehension of income elasticity is necessary to successfully forecast the future demand for goods that may be produced, since management can foresee the, the effect that altering income levels will have on the demand for their goods. Production, management and planning are significantly dependent on income elasticity over long 